Hi folks, it's Mike with Eminem Precision Painting. This channel is dedicated to show you what the pros know so you can do it yourself. In today's video, we're going to be painting this door. It's a brand new metal door, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But before you do, hit that subscribe button, and here we go, folks. Why you still looking at me? Hey right, guys, so first thing we're gonna do, I use a five-in-one. You can use any kind of tool you want, like a screwdriver or something. A lot of times you don't even need it, but if you do, we're gonna pull this weather stripping out. Just like this, and we'll put it inside, outside, wherever. Comes out pretty easy. And then after that, we're gonna take some tape. We're gonna mask off this inside edge so that when we spray, and the purpose of taking that weather stripping out is you're gonna get a gap right here. So it allows you to spray the entire door without any uh, obstruction. So I'll show you guys how we mask this guy off and stay tuned. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna mask this off. I'm just using some 3M regular 2020. Uh, it's probably a better idea. I just don't have any on me to use two inch tape that way you can just put one So <laughs> we're just gonna mask this inside edge right here It's gonna run two two strips down it I'm gonna do it on the side on the tops anywhere that paint's gonna overspray um, also on the bottoms Can you see them well? No, I can't. We're just gonna throw a piece right here To mask anything that might get on the bottom of this guy and then I'm going to get a hand masker I'm going to use 9 or 12 inch paper and uh, I'm going to mask this bottom seal so we don't get any paint on that so for that stay tuned hey guys so this is where I'm using my hand masker I've got all my inside edges taped um, this way when I do shoot the door I'm going to have it semi closed and I've got a, probably about an inch or an inch and a half gap here between where the weather stripping used to be but it's masked off, so now all I have to do is protect this bottom seal. Grab a couple more pieces of tape here tack that down because you don't want that blowing up into your wet paint. Make sure any areas that are exposed here <coughs> on these edges are all covered. So we're going to be masking the glass off. I'm using frog tape. It's got edge block uh, technology. It has polymers in the edge that when it comes in contact with paint, it swells. So it really prevents bleed through. Um, and you're going to want to go right, right up on as close as you can. You don't want any glass exposed at all.
you're going to do like this all the way around and then we'll show you the next step So now we're going to uh, mask our doorknob off. Really important step when you're masking these off. You can remove the hardware. Um, I just think it's a little faster to not bother with it. Um, as you can see, the interior painters stuff some paper in here. If you don't have this and you have your lock installed already, just mask it the same way you're going to mask this doorknob. So it's important to note that I'm leaving a really teeny tiny small gap between the door so I'm going to expose just a teeny tiny little bit of this metal doorknob and that's so that when I do pull the paint or pull the tape that it's not bridging on me. Bridging is where you create a solid surface between the door and the tape itself and then when you rip the paint, the paint on the door will come with it. So we're trying to prevent that and by leaving that small gap, that's what we're accomplishing. So you want to leave just a teeny teeny gap back there between the door and the metal and then once you get your paint on or your tape on I'm just going to take a hand masker and I'm going to wrap it to cover my doorknob Give it a little twist. Now all we have to do is take our hand masker. All the way down on the door here. Grab some tape. Early pack it, he's not blowing around. Fill this gap. Alright, so that's, that's how we're masking our glass. You want to make sure that there's nowhere air can get through, because if air can get through, paint's going to get through. So. Hey guys, so <laughs> got our glass masked off, got our inside door jam masked off, doorknob, bottom kick plate. Now I'm just going to take a dry rag. This thing's been sitting out in the weather a little bit, so I want to get any loose dust or dirt or anything of that nature on it. These doors come pre-primed, so we're not going to be priming today. You just want to wipe your door down. 
Make sure the bottom's really clean too. A lot of time when you're spraying, you kick up some of that dust. You don't want that mixing with your paint. So now we're all prepped out the paint and next step is painting. So stay tuned folks and here we go. All right guys, so I'm using a gun extension to prevent having to go up and down a ladder to spray this door out. Um, at some point they are gonna put stairs over here. So in the meantime, like I said, I'm just trying to avoid using a ladder. I'm using a fine finish low pressure tip. This is a 514, it's made by Graco. Fine finish low pressure just means it's a two step atomization process. So you get more atomization out of your paint and it results in a finer finish. Um, I got my, I'm using a Graco 390. Um, I got my pressure set at about 1800. Um, so now we're ready to spray. So it's really important when you're spraying to not stop in the middle of your door, okay? Because if you stop in the middle of your door, you're gonna get overlaps, runs, spits, things of that nature. So once you start, you either stop at the end of the door to make another pass or you just continue on. So to start, I'm just gonna start up at the top here, down, back and forth, back up, and then I'm gonna look my door over, make sure I need if I need to make any touch-ups. Now don't start on your door, whatever you're doing. All right, guys, I think she's good. That's how you paint an exterior metal door. This is the spot. <laughs> right, folks, that's how we spray a door out. All we gotta do is take our masking off. I like to let these things dry before I take our masking off, um, especially on exterior doors. If it's a little windy or whatever, your masking is apt to kind of push over into your paint. You don't wanna mess that beautiful, smooth finish that you just achieved with masking. Um, it is gonna look a little orange peeled in the beginning, but it'll once it dries out, it'll lay down flat. And you'll have a smooth sort of automotive finish. The paint we used in this one is Solo from Sherwin Williams. It dries pretty hard. It's a good trim paint, door paint, things of that nature. Um, so yeah, that's it. And you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you got any questions, I'm gonna put some links in the bottom on how to set up an airless. I have videos, and I may even throw some up here at the end. Go ahead and look for that. And until next time, we'll see you later.